Hey hi guys, uh, this is Sushant Gujar. Today we are going to talk about how having more muscle in your body can be uh, good. Um, so I talked about this in, in my previous video that muscle uh, itself, uh, having more muscle uh, in your body it can itself uh, need a lot of energy uh, just by just to stay there in your body the muscle will need a lot of energy just to stay there in your body i talked about this in my previous video so when your body needs more energy because of having more muscle that means your metabolism goes up your metabolism goes up uh, you can eat more because you will feel more hunger because your metabolism is high your body is burning more energy per day so you can eat more so eating more is uh, an advantage to a lot of people because they want to or they like eating more and we have talked about this in my previous video that you can you have more scope of burning fat uh, when you have more muscle you have more opportunity to burn fat you have more opportunity to burn fat faster uh, given a, a certain time period so you can burn more fat in a given time frame um, so uh, take, uh, I'll be taking a, a similar example uh, as I've taken in my previous video. So let's say there, there is a guy who has 20 kilograms of muscle mass in his body. Uh, we are talking just about muscle, not about bones or anything else. Just 20 kilograms of muscle mass in his body. And this guy uh, has a, uh, does the household work and nothing else. Uh, he does not exercise. He has a weight of 2,000 calories. Now he started going to the gym, he goes to the gym, works out for years and then now he has gained 25 kilograms of muscle, now his muscle mass is 45 kgs. And now again he stopped working out and now he does the daily household work and now his maintenance is 3000 approximately. Just taking an example. So we'll be using this example to understand uh, everything in this video. Um, so. This guy has more scope of meeting nutritional requirements. For example, um, uh, it is very easy to meet, uh, uh, to get all the vitamins, minerals uh, required by, by your body daily by eating 3000 calories instead of 2000 calories. Okay. Um, you, you can meet your nutrition requirements of protein, carbohydrates, fats that you need, uh, that your body needs daily, the antioxidants that your body needs daily to keep your like, body in a healthy state so it is easier to meet the nutrition requirements eating more food uh, so this guy can do that in an easier way when his maintenance is at 3000 compared to when his maintenance was at 2000 calories now you can eat your favorite foods uh, even when you are trying to lose weight for example if this guy is trying to lose weight he, he starts to eat 2500 calories so he created a calorie deficit of 500 calories per day now this guy uh, um, would be able to meet let's say his nutrition requirements for the whole day in about 2000 to 2200 calories uh, which is uh, which is in a diet plan which he either gets from a uh, good trainer or um, if he know, has the knowledge he makes uh, that type of plan himself so he is able to meet his all the nutrition requirements in 2000 to 2200 calories now he has a scope now he wants to reach 2500 calories now he has a scope of 300 to 500 calories where he can eat the foods that he likes so for example he can eat an ice cream of 300 calories he can eat sweets of um, 300 calories uh, that way so you can eat your favorite foods meeting your nutrition requirement even uh, when you are losing fat so um, so this was like you can um, meet your nutrition requirements uh, in 2200 calories and if you're on your maintenance you can you have 800 calories left uh, with which you can have your favorite foods it does not necessarily mean that you eat whatever you want because that, that would not be so healthy 
in the long term, but you can eat. Looks uh, so well. If you have more muscle, you look good. Uh, you have a bigger body frame. You uh, 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 so you have very less chances of having a big belly, uh, or either you'll have just a small belly, or even if you uh, have a big belly, it will not appear to be as big as it actually is because. The overall body frame that you carry is quite big due to a lot of muscle mass, muscle mass in it. Uh, and if you have lesser uh, fat in your body, more muscle, you have a more solid look because uh, having more muscle makes you look more solid. And now you are stronger. Having more muscle means you are strong. You're stronger. Uh, so you will be stronger in your day-to-day -day activities like um, lifting a cylinder, lifting a bucket, uh, playing with your kid, uh, etc. And when your body is stronger, it is less likely that you'll get injured um, doing the regular activities. For example, if you're lifting a bucket, um, if you're lifting a bucket with a straight uh, or curved, uh, uh, with a straight back, let's say, uh, it is less likely that you'll get injured if you do it with a rounded back It is highly likely that you'll injure your back uh, So let's say uh, now uh, So if you're lifting the same bucket uh, With 20 kilograms of muscle mass and 45 kilograms of muscle mass So when you are at 45 kilograms of muscle mass, you'll be stronger to lift that bucket so um, your body will feel that that bucket is comparatively light and it is less likely that you'll get injured on uh, weights that are light to your body so it is less likely that you'll get injured lifting something light or something which appears to be light to your body so less chances of injury so this was uh, a video i wanted to in which i wanted to talk about what can be the advantages of having more muscle. If you like this video, please like it. If you have any comments, put them in the comment box. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you want to receive notifications for my future video, uh, turn the notifications on. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.